Welcome, uh, Lena Söderberg. Thank you. Uh, head of uh, the Swedish Water Organization, Svensk Vatten. Today uh, we're going to talk about um, the water issue regarding uh, climate change and other sustainable development issues. But heavy rainfall uh, washes agriculture, pesticides and fertilizer into lakes, rivers and our Baltic Sea which also affecting the quality uh, of water. Uh, what are the policies to deal with agriculture pollution in our country? We don't have so many direct policies for the agriculture sector. What we have is the water framework uh, directive from the EU. So what the agriculture sector themselves have done is, is to to um, educate the farmers of, of the residues like nitrogen coming out, to, for example, in the Baltic Sea, and to try to have the farmers to do this change in farming methods on their on their own, voluntarily. Uh, but I believe that they could do more, um, especially the Swedish agriculture sector could do more. Uh, if we move our um, uh, views uh, to the cities... Uh, you, you mentioned uh, the harbour in, in, in Malmö, where they have done a lot of uh, pre-planning work before they constructed the area, and looking into the climate change issue, and, and trying to, to build the area in such a way that they should not risk uh, high sea levels. But now when it is ready, the knowledge about what's happening with, with, the, with the sea and the climate change uh, makes them understand that they probably have, should have built it higher up, even higher up than they did. I think all planners today, regardless where, if it is in in um, in sea sites or or uh, close to lakes or rivers, they really have to take into account that we have a climate change. And and I will say that the problem is is even bigger than how we should plan the new areas, because. Um, what we see in 100 years' time, uh, most of, of the houses that will be there in 100 years' time is already there now. So what we have to do is also to plan our, our existing cities in such a way and rebuild them so, that, so they could uh, keep up and cope with a climate change. We have such a problem in Sweden with our good economy. You can imagine what a problem in poorer countries will have to prepare themselves for a climate change. If we look uh, north and, and uh, look at uh, Greenland and uh, the loss of ice, uh, do you believe that it will affect Sweden? Yes, uh, we will probably have a, have a higher sea level. Of course, in the long term, maybe also a change in the Gulf Stream. But I think also it will influence us indirectly by making it as an indicator for us, a sort of wake-up indicator for us that the climate change is really here. Thank you, Lena. Mm -hmm.